Uh, hi, this is a quick video on how not to break the uh, roller squeegees at uh, Cornwall Park. Um, first of all, the roller squeegees are uh, basically a, a steel pipe with a foam roller over it with bearings on either end and a little adjustment screw that allows you to remove the roller to uh, put the, um, the roller towels on there for court drying. Um, these have been broken a number of times. Uh, mostly the issues have been, uh, all of these are 3D printed plastic parts, which are amply strong, but not if you drop this uh, thing, uh, these parts can break, and that's been happening a lot. Um, the, uh, the, the rod in the center here is a steel rod, which is fairly heavy. And so I think one of the main problems is people store the roller squeegee leaning up against the fence this way, it falls over, hits one of these corners, and you can see uh, this knob here, one edge is broken off. That's where it fell on the ground, uh, undoubtedly. Uh, these other plastic pieces are broken. On this one here, this plastic piece is cracked because, again, it's, it's fallen down on the ground. So whenever you store the roller, make sure you tilt it down and lean it. On the handle against you know the chain link fence or whatever um, that's going to be the safest way to, to store the thing when you aren't using it um, the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to store it where it's resting on the roller or with the roller itself leaning against something hard because the foam will then uh, get sort of a permanent dent in it, and then it won't squeegee the water off nicely, and it'll leave, you know, wet spots. Uh, the other thing to uh, look at is the way this thing comes apart is that there's a, one end has a cap that slides up. So you just loosen this up, and you only need to loosen it up about, uh, I don't know, maybe a half an inch or so. And then this part slides up and then one end uh, uh, is released. And if you leave the whole thing resting on the ground, you can just lean this, the whole thing up against the fence while you get your towel ready to slide over. You don't need to take the whole thing out. If you do take the whole thing out, then you have to get the other end put in the little bearings. You'll notice that there are little bearings in both sides. This is a ball bearing here. Uh, there's one in both sides. Uh, you have to get the... Uh, the screw here that's on either end of the roller into the ball bearing on the one side. Uh, first, which I'm doing now, and then lift this part up, get the thing aligned, and then slide the, the cap down in place, and then tighten the screw down until you make sure that there's no gap on either side of where the uh, uh, um, the end of the roller goes up to the bearing. A uh, couple of things that have happened, sometimes uh, people will pull this out and they're, they're, uh, the bearings are kind of pressed into these plastic pieces, but as they get beaten on a bit, the bearings will pop out. So make sure that both ends have bearings in there. I've seen these rollers, people using them without the bearings, the bearings have disappeared. So don't do that, that's just gonna tear up the plastic. Uh, the other thing that will happen is sometimes people will start rolling and they won't have this thing pushed all the way down so that the whole thing's tight. And that allows the screws that are in the ends of the um, ends of the roller to work themselves loose. And periodically one of these screws will go missing and then the whole thing kind of falls apart and you can't use it uh, uh, as well. So just knowing how this thing works and how it goes together um, will make it uh, so that things aren't falling apart on you uh, unexpectedly. Um, the other thing is make sure that, again, like I say, only loosen this up about a half an inch, just enough to be able to lift this up to get the roller out. Um, if you take this thing all the way out, then you've got pieces flying everywhere and there's a greater chance that uh, something's gonna come loose. Anyway, there's also a separate uh, YouTube video that I'll show, uh, there'll, there'll be a link in the description below that actually shows how to use the whole roller squeegee. Anyway, hopefully if viewing this video that will keep you from uh, breaking rollers in the future. Thanks.